Singapore is a small island nation on the southernmost edge of continental Asia. Despite being slightly smaller than the U.S. state of Rhode Island, it's home to almost 6 million people and is a treasure trove of culture and history. We always have a great time in Singapore, but this is just a quick visit, so we're going to see how much fun we can shove into 24 hours. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? I asked my friend Arvin, a native Singaporean, what his favorite thing about Singapore is, and he immediately responded, efficiency. But since you can't eat efficiency, the food. We're going to make immediate use of his suggestions by using the very efficient MRT system to get to the Maxwell Station, TE18 on the Brown Line, where we cross the street to the Maxwell Food Center. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Carrot cake is a Singapore specialty that has nothing to do with carrots or cake, but it is delicious. It comes in two varieties, white and black. I think I prefer the black, but I'm not really sure why. Oh, yeah, that's really delicious. <laughs> Fried kway chow, prawn meat, and lime juice. Authentic Singapore feast. Now that we're all fueled up for exploring, we head back across South Bridge Road to the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple, where ancient traditions shimmer like gold dust in the sun. Or at least they would if I hadn't started pouring rain. Inside the temple, fragrant incense smoke wafts gently past thousands of Buddhas of all sizes while the air hums with the rhythmic chanting of monks. Walls adorned with intricate murals tell stories of the Buddha's life and on the fourth floor in the Sacred Light Hall, nestled within a 3,500-kilogram golden stupa, rests the Buddha Tooth Relic. There's no photography permitted, so you have to visit for yourself to experience this fragment of history. Even for the agnostically inclined, the temple's beauty and serenity are enough to leave you breathless. It's a living testament to the enduring power of faith, reminding us that even in the midst of concrete and chaos, a little bit of peace can be found. Once the rain stops, do some more exploring and shopping in Chinatown along the street market. Work your way towards the Chinatown MRT station and hop the blue line one stop to Fort Canning, DT20. Enjoy a lovely stroll through Fort Canning Park, one of Singapore's numerous peaceful green spaces that also has some cool history. But you can read all about that on the numerous signs, monuments, and displays. Make your way to the Fort Canning Tree Tunnel, where you can make your own opinion as to why it's famous on Instagram. This is the Fort Canning Tree Tunnel that you see all over Instagram. Take a look. There it is, some spiral staircase. That's hilarious. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't wait in that line for five seconds. It's, it's just a tunnel. Believe it or not, we are hungry again. So we hop on the red line at Dobie Gut to Orchard NS22 and shop our way through the Ion Mall and the rest of this consumer paradise to the top-rated hot pot in Singapore, the Happy Lamb. I'd love to play with my food, so we came to Happy Lamb Hot Pot. More food coming in. And this, I would, I just totally clueless what this was. Wait till the boys and throw your stuff in. Delicious! Messy but fantastic. Hop back on the MRT at Orchard and take it to City Hall in S25. From there, make your way to the surface and head towards the Singapore River. This is a great opportunity to just enjoy some of the sights and sounds that make Singapore so unique and special. Cross over at the historic Elgin Bridge and make your way to Merlion Park on the bay. The Singapore Merlion, where everybody gets their Instagram shots. From there, walk around the bay and make your way to gardens by the bay. Make sure to catch the flower garden and the avatar exhibit. Here's a link to our video of that awesome attraction. If you time it right, you can catch the light show at the Super Grove and the light show over the bay. We were really lucky this time and got to close out the night watching the preparation for Singapore Day, which is an amazing spectacle to behold. Hop a train back to the hotel for a couple hours sleep, then it's off to the airport. Nope, it's not a shopping mall. Well, it kind of is a shopping mall. We're back at Changi Airport, the best airport in the world. Just hanging out in the lounge, so not really that exciting, but a very nice perk on our card. Scoop Plus, it ain't much, but it's better than Scoop Regular. Keep drinking the coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>